Hi guys, this is Lucy from Book Widgets and there is something new. That's why I'm making this video to show you what's new in Book Widgets. So you can see that I have a student view here. So as a student, I'm going to fill this form out first. And then in the end, I will take a look at the grades and reporting because a new thing will happen there. So let's see what we can do. And I will make some mistakes as well. So don't worry about it. I know my stuff, but in this case, I need to make some mistakes. I just logged into bookwidgets.com and went to create some reporting to see my students' answers. I go to my courses and I click on the exercise I want to create. And in this case, you can see everything like normal, um, the questions here and all my students that answered my exercise. In this case, it's just one student and I'm clicking on the name of the student to add some summarizing comment maybe or to grade her work and you can immediately see the new thing right here so this is actually a whiteboard um, question type you can do the same with a photo question type you can see that students annotated and indicated some things on this whiteboard question and of course you can enter a, a comment below the question what is new are these annotation tools right above this type of question the first thing I can do is use this icon to spread out the whiteboard to make sure I can see everything to focus my attention as a teacher on what my student did inside this question type. Then I can annotate in two different manners. So the first thing I can do is take this pencil here and draw some stuff. So I could indicate arrows or I could say, okay, this should be the other way around. If I'm not happy with what I just drew on this whiteboard question, I can use this little arrow right here, click on the annotations I've made and delete the annotations. But of course I'm happy so I'm going to do it again. Another thing I can do is use this icon and add annotations with comments attached. So in this case I could add an annotation about this field that my student indicated and say these are these are Dutch natives and of course the other way around I'm going to do the same here these are these are the American natives just like that you can delete the comments you've put here so you can just click on this X to delete the comment you've just added and the box will disappear as well. There is one more tool that's this turn icon, this turn arrow and this means that if your students entered an image on your whiteboard on, or in the photo question and it's upside down you can just make sure to get it in the right direction to spin it so you can add your annotations right here. I'm going to click on this X to make the screen smaller again and I can see all my annotations right here and what I can do as well here is give it a point so in this case it wasn't the right thing. Of course when I indicated this questions when I've graded this question I can just go on here and give her grades like that and go on until I am ready to send back the feedback. So I'm clicking on return work to return the work. So let's take a look at the feedback of the student here. So I just got my feedback back with the grades. As you know, as a teacher, you can choose whether to return the feedback with or without grades, with or without the correction already and so on. In this case, you can see the whiteboard question with the things that the student annotated and of course in orange, the teacher's feedback with the dots here. So the first and the second annotation you did and of course your line that you drew as well. 
And that's it for this new thing inside Book Widgets. You're now able to annotate and give comments within a whiteboard question and a photo question. Good luck!